Welcome to Johnson Controls. Our building houses a number of employees who work in different departments and on different projects, but who share the need for comfort, safety, and productivity. Meet Jim. When he arrives for the day and swipes his badge on the access panel, a series of signals get sent via the building automation system. Faster than pneumatics, more powerful than a simple thermostat, able to keep everyone comfortable with meticulous precision. This is Mr. BAS. Mr. BAS will guide us through our journey of interconnected systems and show us how the parts of a building automation system can help you manage your building. Welcome to a world that moves a thousand times faster than our own. The world of building automation. He begins his mission by receiving the user credentials from the access panel. Fasten your seat belts for a lightning quick journey. Welcome Mr. BAS, please select your destination. In this journey, Mr. BAS will take us through various building systems, HVAC, lighting, fire, security, and more. A BAS integrates building systems and automates their control and data sharing, allowing them to automatically respond to changes in conditions. Destination arrived. In order to grant Jim access, Mr. BAS must do two things simultaneously after verifying Jim's card number. He has to return to the reader module to grant Jim access to the door. Match found. He also has to carry Jim's data to the server so it can be distributed to the rest of the BAS. Please proceed back to reader module. Please proceed to access control server. Mr. BAS coordinates communication between a number of devices within the security system in the blink of an eye. This ensures not only Jim's speedy entry, but peace of mind for his colleagues, who can rest assured that only authorized parties are entering the space. These actions occur simultaneously every time someone arrives, but no one ever notices because of the ability of a BAS to coordinate multiple actions at once. In addition to granting building access, BAS controllers can also tell other systems that Jim has arrived and get his office ready for him. Mr. BAS proceeds towards the HVAC and lighting department. The data in a BAS tells the lighting system to turn on the lights. Mr. BAS signals the equipment to change the amount of service provided to the area. The heating and cooling in Jim's office is maximized for energy savings overnight. And once he arrives in the morning, Mr. BAS warms up his office so he can be comfortable. Later in the day, a few other employees walk down to a meeting room for a discussion. Due to the heat energy created by this group of people, sensors detect that the room air is becoming too warm. Mr. BAS adjusts the temperature in the room by using a variable air volume, or VAV box, to increase the amount of cool air entering the workspace. Mr. BAS directs controllers to adjust the speed of the fan supplying all the VAV boxes so that it can compensate for the increased airflow into the space. The chiller will increase its capacity so that enough cold water will be available to provide necessary cooling to the air. This removes the extra heat energy, or BTUs, generated by the body heat of Jim's colleagues. The sensor will then identify that the meeting room is sufficiently cooled, and the controllers will redirect the equipment. Later, after his colleagues have left the room, and less cooling is needed, the fan and chiller slow back down. All of these routine activities happen consistently throughout the day, over and over, as multiple occupants go about their business. There are also times when non-routine activities will be demanded of Mr. BAS, and he is just as ready and able to carry out those functions as well. Let's take, for example, that Jim's office is doing a fire drill today. The building systems work together to minimize the negative impacts of this event. 
The HVAC and fire systems share data and shut off airflow to that floor by either closing the dampers or turning off air handlers. The security system unlocks and opens every exit door on the floor. Access control data lets us know which employees and visitors have left the building and can inform first responders who remains. It was a busy day for Jim and Mr. BAS. Data sharing in a BAS can be more than just energy saving, it can be life saving. Jim's day is over, but Mr. BAS continues to work. This time his mission is to set heating and cooling in Jim's office for maximum energy savings. And Mr. BAS takes on this mission day after day. Access control systems allow building tenants easy and appropriate access by coordinating entry and occupancy. HVAC systems and equipment work with the BAS to ensure comfort and efficiency. Fire and safety systems keep tenants safe by using alarm detection and notifications. The intricate connections between these systems are managed by a BAS. Combining systems with the BAS enhances the experience that tenants have every day and streamlines building management. With Mr. BAS guiding the integration of systems in a building, he is helping to make the world smarter, safer, and greener. Another busy day starts for Mr. BAS as Sachin swipes in.